Welcome to episode seven of live.withcode.uk. Uh, thank you to everyone who took part last week where we used um, iteration to create a firework display. Particular well done to Liv from Fulford who's last week's competition winner. So if your school hasn't yet signed up for uh, the competition, it's free for schools to register, it's free for students to register. You can take part in the activities without signing up, um, but you can only win a prize if your school is registered. Um, so this week, thank you to everyone who voted. You voted for graphical user interfaces, so a bit more challenging than we have done so far. We don't normally cover um, GUIs at GCSE level in Python, um, but it's a great way of making sure that we understand um, procedures and functions, um, and lots of you voted for it. So that's what we're gonna cover today. Um, so the program we're gonna create, uh, I was thinking during this lockdown, wouldn't it be amazing if you had a, a magic button that you could press and just make the world a better place? Um, now we can't necessarily wipe out coronavirus with a button in TK Inter, but we can put a little quote on um, to hopefully make people feel a bit more inspired, or you can adapt this to put a joke on um, or anything like that. So we're gonna use TK Inter for the graphical user interface, which means we'll create some widgets or controls, if you used to calling them that. Um, we're gonna make a button, we're gonna make two labels, and then we're gonna make the, um, the labels change the text um, in those labels when you press the button. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first things first, I just Googled some inspirational quotes. You can use your own or you can stick with the ones that I've got. I'm gonna copy and paste these and they'll be available in the, um, the code with the description uh, on, on YouTube. I'm gonna rename the file to quotes.txt, a text file, and I'm gonna paste them in. So I've put the person who said the quote first and then a colon and a space and then what the quote is. That's important because we're gonna split these up. We're gonna choose one at random and every time we see a colon and a space, we're gonna split them and what comes before the colon and the space is who said it. What comes after the colon and the space is what they said. You might have to be careful if your quote has a colon and a space in. So Martin Luther King Jr, his quote, did have a, a colon and a space in, that's gonna break things. So I had to change that, sorry Martin Luther King Jr, um, with a full stop. Okay, so let's start off by reading those quotes in from a file. So we're gonna say um, from, um, say with uh, open and then the file name, quotes.txt, and then we give it um, an object that we can access. So let's just say file. And then we'll say file.readlines. Um, so this will um, give us a list of all of the different lines in this file. So we want to store that, let's say lines, or I suppose we should call it quotes. Um, and for now, let's just print it, uh, help, and see what happens. So we've got a list containing all of the lines um, from that file. Next, we want to um, separate them out. So uh, we can say, uh, well, we'll need to choose one at random first. So import random and then random.choice quotes. That will let us choose just one. So I'm going to say Q for now. Um, so if I say print Q, we've just got one line. Um, but we want to separate these out. So we've got who said it and what they said. So we can say um, who and what equals q dot split and this is where we have that colon and space so everything before the colon and space is going to get saved in who and then if everything after the colon and space is going to be what so let's just display who and then what fab so we've got something here um, that will uh, choose a random quote um, let's put that into a procedure so that we can use it later or maybe a function let's see um, def choose quote all of this gets indented select and press tab and then this time um, it's a procedure at the moment we're going to make it into a function by just returning these two values so um, we can just return everything that's split here okay so that means every time we want a, um, a new quote we can just go choose quote we can print that, we can save it wherever we want, and we'll get two items, the person who said it and what they've said. Okay, so next we're gonna create the graphical user interface window. For that, we're going to import TK Inter, um, but we're gonna import it slightly differently. Um, 
if you just say import and then the module name, every time you want to use the module, you have to put the module name like random dot. Now that's going to get a bit irritating if we create lots of widgets like buttons and labels and things to have to write tkinter.button and tkinter.label. It'd be much better if we can just say button. In order to do that, we say from tkinter import star, um, and that means we put everything from tkinter into the global namespace, which just means we can say button rather than tkinter.button. Okay, before we can create a button, we need to make a main tk window. Um, so we're going to call it win equals tk. Um, let's comment this out so we can see what that ha see what that does. Yep, we've got a little window. Be nice if we can change the title. So let's call it magic button. Great, and then we're going to put our button onto that window. So um, we create a button. We need to say that it lives on that window. We need to give it some text, and I'm just going to put magic in. Um, help. There we go. And it's not going to be on the window yet, um, and it won't be until you um, tell that button to pack it onto the display. Now the button doesn't do anything yet because we haven't told it to do anything yet. So that's the next job. Let's first of all create a new procedure um, that will display a quote. So um, for now, let's say def um, display quote. Um, we want to choose a quote using the, the function that we've defined up here. So remember that returns two values. It returns who said something and what they said. So we can say who and what. And for now, we're just going to display them. So who and what. OK, so we've defined this procedure, but it still doesn't happen when we press the button. And it won't do until we connect up this procedure with the button by saying um, command equals. So hopefully now it will choose a random quote and it will display it on the screen. But this is some nasty combination now of a graphical user interface and a console. We would like it to all be on this graphical user interface. So that's the next step. Let's add a label. Um, so we need to say where the label lives. So it's on that window. Um, and we could do with um, some text to say who. And again, it won't be displayed on there until we pack that um, label. But we have a bit of a problem if we want to be able to change that text there. Um, now, if you search for how to do this in tkinter, um, you come across things called string vars. Um, so we're going to say um, s for string underscore who um, equals a string var. And then we can say s who uh, dot set. And that's going to set the text inside that label. So for now, I'm going to put who. And it's slightly different now. Rather than just the text, we have to say text variable. Um, um, oh, we've done it wrong. It says undefined. Um, we need to link it to this variable we've just created, string or s who. There we go. So now that we've created this string var, um, it would be nice if instead of displaying it to the console, we just change this s who um, to display who said the quote in the first place. So what does that mean? Let's say s underscore who dot set who. So who is a normal string? S who is a TK into string var that we can set, and when we do set it, it should automatically change the label on our um, um, on our widget. Fab. So it says who's saying the quote. Now I need another variable um, for what they're saying. So let's say S underscore the string underscore what. So what they're saying. Create a new string var. Set it originally to. Um, what they've said, or to be honest, we could just leave it blank um, to begin with. Create a new variable, but this variable now needs to be linked to the other string var. So what? Here we go. So it only says who says the quote at the moment because we haven't said what they've said. We need to set that here. And I'm going to take out the print so it doesn't display it to the console window anymore. OK, we're pretty much there. All we need to do now is change the font. Um, so where we create the, um, the button, 
um, we've got a couple of parameters in here. So this is the window that the button lives on. This is the text in the button. This is the um, procedure or function that's called when you press the button. We can also say BG for the background color. We can make it help red. Um, and then we can change the font as well. So font equals. And then this is a different way of doing lists. You've seen at the start when we read everything in from the, fi from the file, um, we had a list of all of the lines. Um, now we're going to use a tuple instead of a list. Um, so a list uses square brackets, a tuple uses just normal round brackets. Um, the only difference is you can change everything inside a list. You can't change anything inside a tuple. Well, we, we don't need to change it at all. Um, but the font just lets you say which, uh, which typeface. So I'm going to use Arial and the size of that font. OK, so you can choose whichever size or font that you like. Um, I will disown you if you choose Comic Sans, um, but <laughs> you might think that's an advantage anyway. Uh, and I'm going to just do the same for uh, the label as well. So let's see, font equals, make a tuple. The first item in the tuple is the font's name and then uh, the size. Great, so we have a magic button that uses a, um, a graphical user interface with TK Enter. Uh, that chooses a random line from a file. It splits it up so that you can access two parts of that line and displays them into two separate widgets, two separate label widgets. Um, so I'm going to put some um, challenges that you can work through. Remember, there are four links to um, free online interactive resources that you can work through at your own pace. Um, or you can join the competition and get points for each of those. So the first challenge, um, add your own quotes to the file, nice and easy. Um, just uh, add a new line on the end, make sure you put your colon and space. You can change the font of both labels, change the colour, change the size, change the typeface, or add another button, so another line like line 18 here, this one, um, that says not just a magic quote, but also um, a joke to make people laugh. Fab, thanks ever so much for listening and look forward to seeing um, who gets the most points for next week's prize. Look after yourselves, all the very best. Bye-bye.